Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 30 of the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So this looks like a fairly complex problem. If you look at the answer selections, F, G, H, and J, they don't have regular equations, uh, but they do have these strip diagrams. So let's just go ahead and label these. You might have heard of them before as part, part, holes, and that's fine. Uh, part, part, hole is a type of a strip diagram. Uh, there are other types of strip diagrams that are not necessarily part, part, holes. So either word works here. So we need to have uh, a picture, a representation of our problem situation up here. So let's see if we can figure this one out. I'll write an equation first, and then we're going to match that to the correct strip diagram. There are a total of 294 restaurants. So when they give you this total right here, I'm just going to go ahead and put a equals 294. Because when they use this word total, that lets you know that that's going to be uh, on one side of the equation. Remember, the equation needs to balance out. We need to pretend like our equation is like a balance, right? And so whatever's on this side, put a little box here, needs to equal everything that's over on this side, even if it looks a little bit bigger because it's, we're going to have some addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. But we need to balance it out. So of these restaurants, we've got 196 on the highway, 49 downtown, and then the rest. So there's my unknown. So I've got 294 restaurants, and it seems like we're just going to put 196. I can put that kind of in a box here. We're going to put 49 in a box here. And then the rest. So the rest is going to be my unknown. So I'm just going to put a little question mark here. So if I wanted to balance these two out, 196 looks like we're going to have some addition signs here. So I can write this as a number sentence, 196 along the highway, plus 49 downtown, plus my question mark. Those are the ones on the shopping mall. All of that equals 294. So that's an equation to represent this problem. If we're wanting to find um, the number of restaurants in the city that are shopping malls, we can start with this and we can use some uh, different equations that use inverse operations, back families. But we are looking at strip diagrams. So in a strip diagram, this is the number one thing we need to remember. When we're looking at a strip diagram, the whole or the total, if you ever get a whole or total, if that's given to you, and one of the unknowns is actually a part, the whole always goes up on top. That's how we do a strip diagram. So we're going to put this right here. So that represents everything. And then underneath it, we already know we've got three chunks. Sometimes they try to make them proportional. Sometimes they don't. I'm not going to worry about it this time. I'm just going to say 196, 49, and then question mark. So when I draw it like this, I don't have to include the plus signs, because the strip diagram shows you that when you connect these, these connecting bars are automatically plus signs. And so when you're looking at that, you see there's only one answer selection that actually has the whole the total up on top, 294. And so they did make it proportional. They made that 196 much larger than the 49, which makes sense. So our answer is going to be G. Now, why is our answer G and not F, H, or J? Let's take a look at those. Look at what F, H, and J do. First off, F, H, and J all put your total down as one of the parts. They put the whole down with one of the parts. And if you add 294, 196, and 49 in F, or 294, 49, or 294, 196, take a look at these two. 294 and 196. They're way bigger than 49. That doesn't make any sense. 294 plus 49, already larger than 196. That doesn't make any sense. And then all of these three, we don't know what they're going to add up to, but it's going to be much larger than 294. And we already know that 294 is our total. So our answer is G.